Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about percent of change. We're going to find each percent change to the nearest percent and state if it's an increase or decrease. So, if I was given this problem, from 94 miles to 34 miles, well, if I have from 94 to 34 miles, first I want to know is that it increase or decrease? And we're going down, right? 94 is greater than 34. So that's a decrease. Decrease, okay? Decrease. So now I need to find a difference between these two. So to find a difference between it, all right, I need to deal with positive numbers here. So I'm just going to take whatever is number is larger, larger, which is 94, and subtract 34 from it. So I take 94 minus 34. And that'll give me the difference between these two, how many units are between them. I don't really care if it's positive or negative, just, or I want it to be positive, so I'm picking the larger one first. 4 minus 4 is 0, 9 minus 3 is 6, and so we have a 60 uh, mile difference between these two values. We still take that 60 miles, and we divide it by our first number, 94. Okay? So using our calculator, we take that 60, divided by 94, and we have 0. There's a prox one here. 0 0.6382. 8, well, 3. It rounds, okay? So we have approximately 0 0.6383, okay? Well, I need to write that as percent. Percent moves us over two units. We round from there. 8 causes that 3 to go up to 4. So we have actually 64% decrease. So let's recap. We started from 94 miles to 34 miles. We recognized that that was a decrease, right? Then we found a difference between these two. Difference between the largest number subtract by the lower number. So 94 minus 34, which is 60. We want to keep that positive. So we have 60. 60, we then divide by our first number, which was 94, which came out to approximately a decimal of 0 0.6383. We then had to convert that to a percent, and we're, we're rounded to the nearest percent. Move it over two units, so we have 60, uh, 3.83. Then we have to take that 8, and that rounds that 3 to make it a 4, because it's bigger than 5. So we have a 64% decrease as our final answer.